Hey everyone, Morgana Hiller here. Uh, I want to show my outfit and then I'm going to share some, I don't know, I guess not really a rant, just a story. A little bedtime story, if you will. Um, and then I will open up my inventory and tell you exactly where everything came from. And then I will post it so you can go and shop. Sound good? Alright, so here is my outfit. I am in love with this. I will tell you right now, the majority of it is from Delirium Style. Do, do, do. These boots, for one. They come with a HUD, which I will show at the end of the video. Da -da -dum -dum. Do, 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 do. And this lovely uh, garter belt comes with a HUD as well. So you're going to have to stay tuned if you want to see these these HUDs. I can't uh, size it, so that kind of was a bit of a bug because it is rigged mesh and my thighs are already thin. I don't want to make them even more thinner, but from what I understand, rigged mesh, it wouldn't matter if my thighs were pencils. <laughs> it still wouldn't fit. All right, so this outfit here. Yes, I realize there's a swear word. So all you anal inattentive people, you might want to look away. Same with the underpants. Now, I am actually wearing the Isis body. So something I noticed about the outfit was even though I was wearing the Isis top and the Isis body, the underwear were cutting in right in this bum area. So a best way to combat that is to wear the Freya top if you're wearing the ISIS. Just a thought. Um, as you can see, I have materials activated because I do, I am wearing, um, not wearing, I have my advanced lighting on because I want it to have shadows. These wings are from Gothic. I love them. They're gorgeous. Isn't that perfect? It's like pinned right through the top. I was going to do like, um, a naked photo with these, but uh, I'll explain why I didn't in a little bit. Whee. I may still once I've calmed down, but for now, this is what you get. And my lovely horns. Check these out. Ooh. Aren't these cute? Whoa! Here, let's do this so that way. You get a nice close up without going way close. Those are so adorable. I think I actually have a teddy bear like that. <laughs> These horns are from Zombie Suicide. I'm wearing a mix and match. <laughs> There's that disgusting little buddy. <laughs> Hello. That's nice. What is he doing? Doesn't it look like he's like actually eating something? Ew. My skin is from the skinnery. I believe it's called Wura. It was at Shiny Shabby, but I think it's probably at the main store now. My lipstick is from Look Form, and my makeup is from Delirium Style. My eyes, of course, are still from Izzy. I absolutely love them. And my ears are from Swallow. The shape underneath is technically still Storm, not for long. I will have a new release soon. And the build around me is the hallway to the um, skybox or studio. Okay, so let's uh, do a little closer here. We'll go right above here. Oh, here, sound good? Nah, I think that's good. Okay, so you guys know that when I have an issue in Second Life, I don't sit there and, like, I may rant, as you all know, because you're following me, so obviously you know. I'll rant, but no way in hell would I post anyone's personal information. Also, if I quote somebody, I would never, ever attach their name. I think that is the most disrespectful thing you could do to somebody. Now, on Facebook, 
um, people that are on my Facebook are part of my real life Facebook, okay? So this is why I don't add people very often. I think I average maybe one or two ads per month, and this is after getting to know people. So <clears throat> I used to be guilty of the whole, you know, clickbait and networking and stuff, but I don't do that anymore, and I haven't done that for a number of years now. <clears throat> Sorry. You're going to hear a lot of coughing. One sec. <coughs> Unfortunately, that's one of my disabilities. I have bronchitis, especially with the weather changes. Anyway, so um, please understand that if you are on my Facebook or if you are on my um, anything, actually, if you are anywhere, on any of my social media and I apparently added you please remove yourself if you think that the only reason I added you was because I was fangirling because I will tell you right now I fangirl maybe once in a blue moon okay um, like this is why I don't like making friends and adding them knowing what they do in Second Life like, um, I made a new friend the other day, and before I even knew who she was and what she did in Second Life, I added her as a friend because she was epically awesome. And then, of course, when I found out what she did, yeah, of course I fangirled, but you've got to understand, she was added as a friend before I knew. So I think people have to have that big red letters. I should put that here somewhere. Anyway. It was before I knew what she did. And this is why I prefer to add people in Second Life before I know what it is that they do. Okay? Because I never, ever, ever want to be accused of a fangirl relationship. Alright? <sighs> Having people fangirl add me is like, I don't know. I, I don't mind it on Flickr. Because fangirling on Flickr is what you're supposed to do. <laughs> You see a photo that you like and you, you follow it because you want to see more from that artist. And that's what I do. That's called fangirling Flickr style. But I don't do it in SL and I sure as hell don't do it on Facebook. Maybe I'll add somebody, I'll see them in a comment or something, a comment section that's going on. And I will be like, oh, well, I really like this person's comments. That's not called fangirling. That's called respect. So yes, I add them because I want to learn more about them and get to know them. Um, I really wish there was an easier way on Facebook to remove people, like in bulk, uh, because I would go through my friends list and there should be like, um, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Uh, activity. So people that have visited your profile or that you've visited theirs. So arrange it by activity. So in this way I could remove the masses that haven't even been on Facebook for God only knows how long. And also so I could remove the people that do not come to my profile at all. Because then that would eliminate so much. <laughs> anyway, so... Moving, uh, moving on to the issue at hand, um, having someone that you respected, that you actually liked, that you valued their opinion or um, maybe their talent, maybe something about them drew you to them. And I'm not talking about fangirling, I'm talking about respect. Um, it really hurts when that person that you respected turns around and basically belittles you and cuts you down and makes you feel like trash. You guys have to understand that this isn't just about me. This is about anybody in the world. Things that you say, this is the internet, inter international age. This is the internet age. So once you've said it, it's out there and people run with it, not knowing what it's about, not knowing what who they're affecting. And it's really sad that there are people out there that laugh at you when you're depressed or when you're suicidal. 
it's really disturbing to know that people that you thought were friends or people thought that you thought you respected are the people that are sitting there laughing, going, ha, 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 keep poking, keep poking her, keep poking her, maybe she'll go out and kill herself. And then the disturbing thought is, is that these same people are the ones that are going to be sitting there laughing if they achieve their goal. I think that's utterly disgusting. And the fact that there is actually somebody out there that I, me, <laughs> actually envied their talents or liked what they did on Second Life or love their photos. The fact that, you know, I was friends with somebody like that makes me sick, okay? The fact that I was friends with somebody who could go in to a multimedia place like Facebook and say the things that they said is disgusting. So that person lost all respect. And even when I tried to talk to them privately, instead of keeping it private, they posted my real life info all over the place. It's like multimedia. Once you've posted it, it's out there. That's disgusting. I only invite a certain amount of people to my real life Facebook, okay? And these are people that I have like contact with my family, with my friends, all right? So the fact that all of my friends and everything are coming to me and saying, why in the hell would they say something like that? Because once you're tagged in something, your whole media sees this. Once you comment on something, everybody can see it. And I think that people forget this. It's either they forget it or they just don't give a shit. And in this case, I think they just didn't give a shit. I tried twice to talk to this person as a mature adult to find out what the fuck was going on. But they just didn't bother. It was like all the conversations over the past couple of years, like silly things like um, advice on photos or telling me to ignore haters. And it, it's like telling me I'm worthless, that there's nothing to build up, you know, because I had said they were my confidence builder a couple of times, telling me that there was nothing to build up and that I was worthless. You know what? Anyone who says that to you ever are feeling bad about themselves. And this all started because of how people choose to live their second lives, what kind of photos they choose to post, which I found hilarious because the person in question has those kind of photos all over the place. So I found it odd that they were flipping out on us, but they were guilty of the exact same thing. So I don't know. I just, I tried to explain to them. And the funny thing is, is the first post, the comment, I was joking around. This is the problem with Second Life, not Second Life, the internet age in like the first place. You don't have that sarcasm. You don't have that feeling behind something, you know? I was laughing when I posted it. I thought it was hilarious. But instead of talking to me, they had this violent reaction. Like we're talking violent reaction, extreme aggression. And it was just like, what? back up and I tried I tried so hard just to like mend that bridge as fast as possible but it just didn't happen now if you are one of my followers and you're on my Facebook and you know what this was all about please do not at all do not post the name if I find the name posted I will remove it plain and simple I will go and I will remove the comment because I'm venting, okay? That's it. I'm venting. And the fact that I'm venting is just for people that will listen. If you guys listen, great. If not, then just, you know, skip to the end of the video. Not a problem. I want to share how I feel about something. I am not going to go and post the person's name because a couple things. One, I'm not like them. I'm better than that. I don't have a reason to do something like that. I'm better than that in the sense that I don't need 
to blacklist them. I don't need to blackball them. I don't need to draw unnecessary attention to them. Why should I give them that satisfaction? Why should I send people to talk to him? No. Okay? Uh-uh. It isn't going to happen. Personally, I think that that person needs a lot of growing up. I feel sorry for them. The fact that they have to tear me down to feel better about themselves, yes, I feel sorry for them. A couple days from now, I'll get over this. I'll feel better, you know. Um, yes, it hurts so bad that I cried. I cried like a friggin' baby. My ex-partner actually got on Skype with me and just listened to me cry for like, oh God, I don't even know, like an hour. I was hurt, soul deep hurt. The fact that the words that they used to describe me, first off, sweethearts, I'm not retarded, okay? So right there just opened up a whole flood. Everybody knows who I'm talking about now. But I'm not retarded, okay? I'm mentally handicapped, yes. But the word retarded is like, oh God, it's like calling a black person the N-word. It's disgusting. It's wrong. And it shouldn't be done. And the fact that this person didn't see a problem in saying something like that, just shows who has more maturity. It's just wrong. I'm sorry if that person's having a bad day or a bad week or a bad year. Just don't take it out on me. I've never, ever, ever hidden the fact that I have mental capacity issues. So the fact that they just burped at that out on the public forum was just like, wow. <laughs> maturity much? Zero. <sighs> I think that people, bullies, do this to make themselves feel better, and I feel so bad for them. I really do. I wish that whatever was bothering them and whatever hurt them so bad that they felt that they have to basically rip somebody else apart to make themselves feel better. I wish they didn't have that problem. I wish there was a way that I could help them, but I can't. So, after today, I'm done with it, you know? They're going to lash out. I know they will, because that is in their nature. The fact that they did this and then turned around and said they've never spoken to me before, bullshit. <laughs> Fun thing, I saved my chat box. I have a hard drive, an external hard drive where I save all of my stuff from Second Life. I have about three years worth of stuff on that hard drive right in front of me. So, yeah, right away, as soon as I was accused of all this stuff, as soon as I was cut down and treated like shit, I jumped on their stream. I found all of their photos that were extremely attention-grabbing. And, uh, yeah, I took screenshots of all of it. So don't sit there and chastise me for something that I do randomly here and there when you're guilty of the exact same thing. I hate people that do that. Cut people down because they have hobbies. They, they have fun doing random things. And then when I try to agree with them on certain parts, not all of it, just certain parts, I get treated like shit. It's just so wrong. So how about this? I'm going to break it down like this. I respect the person that he used to be. I respect the person that he was when I added him. Um, and I specifically asked to add him. Okay, that was on me. Stupid. Anyway, <laughs> it was on me. I wanted to get to know him as a friend. And back then, we did. We talked a lot. Um, I had some run-ins with people on Facebook. And he commented on how I should ignore the haters and just move on and be happy and blah, blah, blah. And, um, yeah, I tried to remind him of this. And, well... That's when the whole worthless thing came up, telling me how I had, there was nothing there to build up and that I should get out of the house and uh, have my medication lowered. <laughs> yeah. It must be nice to be a bully 
and not have to face your consequences. But you know, I'll have this momentary of gut-wrenching pain and sadness, and then I'll get over it as I'm working on it now. I'll have my rant, which is this, and then it'll be done. I'll move on, you know. I'll grow from it. I'll grow from this experience. That person, however, is just going to get meaner and crueler. And one of these days, he's going to say something to one of his really important friends, one of his close friends, and they're going to leave him. And then he's going to know how it feels to have this loss. And I know for people out there, they're thinking this is like a grandmaster overreaction. Well, I've tried changing. I've tried not to have such a reaction when people hurt me. But I didn't like who I became. So I would rather be a drama queen and have feelings and, and feel hurt and put down and, you know, mentally disturbed then have no feelings at all. I don't want to be like him. I don't want to be that kind of person that, that will post real life information about somebody. And yes, Second Life has my real life information. <laughs> Granted, the internet doesn't. <laughs> There's like two people, maybe three people on the internet that have my real life information. Are you kidding me? I change that shit up all the time. You guys don't know anything about me. Oh, you know my birth date. Like, the date, not the year. You don't know my height. You don't know my weight. You don't know the color of my hair. You don't know my eyes. You don't know my mother's maiden name. You don't know where I was born. You don't know anything. So stop this shit. Stop being this psychotic bully. Grow up. Be this nice guy that you used to be, please. Not for my benefit, because there's no going back from this. After what you did, there's no going back. But maybe the next person that you decide to do this to, maybe you can take a step back and say, hmm, should I really say this to a mentally unstable person, as you call me? It's probably not a good idea. And although I have been, quote-unquote, suicidal in the past, I'm dealing with it. I can get help from my affliction. There's no help for being an asshole. I'm sorry, I'm just I'm ran, rambling now because I'm tired. So we'll just get into this here. Um, so the skin, sorry guys, I know. The head that I'm wearing is Anna Gray. Anna has big lips, <laughs> as we found out. <laughs> But it's a nice head, especially for those women out there with the big lips. <laughs> um, the skin that I'm wearing is Rura. Do, do, do. Oh, goodness, I'm so tired. All of this stress, man. Supernatural, that's where the garter's from. Okay, so let's go looking for this stuff, shall we? Okay. These are just boxes that I unpacked. Here are the hidden horns. I'm not 100% sure what this event's called, but don't you worry. Oh, survive the hunter gang or hunger horror gang. There we are. Nowhere survive the little horror gang. Okay, so that's cool. I should actually go and do that. <laughs> um, Supernatural of Shelby Garter. There we are. And there is the HUD. Or not. There's no HUD. I was wrong. <laughs> it's either silver or gold. And I believe that's the metals. <laughs> I was wrong. But see, it looks like there's something in it to <clears throat> resize or something. See? Oh, anti-res. Okay, you can't res that on the ground or it'll disappear. <clears throat> Ow, sorry. And that is at anybody. Um, Laform Dark Lipstick. So that tells you that one. That's at anybody as well. Bum, bum, bum. The sign that I was wearing in my photos, uh, Mimi signs. 
Um, here is this one. Do, do, do. It looked odd when I was using it before, so I'll just use it now. See? Eat, drink, scare. You can move the um, thingy so that way. There we go. It's better than before. <laughs> Alright, so that's Mantra. I believe this is at the candy fair. It's a uh, gacha. And eventually I'll be able to. Oh, there we go. Do, 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 do. <laughs> My big butt. <clears throat> As I said, there are the boots. And I think. Are they part of that? No. The makeup is from the Bloody Horror Fair. Stop it. <laughs> um. The boots, I'm not even sure, uh, sure, listen to me, I'm not sure where, I mean, I know where they're from, they're from the Delirium style, but I'm not sure if they're part of an event or something. Where are they? Shopping! There it is. So this is the Diana set, and it is just, fuck it. <laughs> um... These are socks and pumps here. Let's go and find the human viewer. All right, so this has a HUD, obviously. There's the pumps. All right, where is that HUD? Oh, I know what I did. <coughs> I hid the HUD. I'm good. All right, so. Here are the shoes and the socks. You got your different um, choices. You can change the shoes, and you can do them individually. So if you wanted to wear like one sock of a different kind, kind of thing. Tewing. See. Anytime now, they'll res. <laughs> there we go. And as you can see, you can change the shoes to different colors. <coughs> God, my throat really hurts. <laughs> do, do, do. Not sure what these are. What's this? Ooh, they're changing something. Oh, that must be the soul. Yes, yes it is. Okay, so we've got that. I'm just going to go back to black. Okay, and... Uh, doo -doo -doo. Kitty cats and Ouija. Ouija, Ouija, Ouija. Yay! <clears throat> All right. Still wearing my uh, Dark Passions nail polish, um, mainly because I forgot to change it. I meant to, but mm, you know me. I get all messed up, and my game, so to speak, gets thrown off. Um, there's no HUD for the wings. The wings just are what they are. They're gorgeous. See? Gothico. Not for the weak. Pierced wings. Um, can go find this. Find in the main viewer. So that way we can find the HUD. Ding. Alright. What's this? Oh, I'm actually wearing that one already. Um, oh, that's the underwears. <laughs> If you look inside there, you can actually see how I'm changing the panties. Fingers are done. Okay. And here is your stuff here. I guess this is the arms, maybe? Alright. Is something not working? Oh, there we go. Is it the arms? Not sure what this is supposed to change, like colors are supposed to change, but whatever. There we go. 
through there. Anyway, so there's that. Uh, let's see. What else is there? Actually, come up here. <sighs> Sorry, I'm still trying to stay calm from today. I'll be fine, you know. Eventually I'll get over it, but I know for a fact that because of who they are, they're probably going to lash out, and there's nothing I can really do about that, you know? I wish that I could just go back and not bother commenting at all, because, you know, I did like them until this. <laughs> And there's no going back, you know, the person will never apologize for calling me what they did because in their eyes, they're not wrong. And I just, I don't know, I can't explain how I feel about things. So, whatever. Just a reminder for those of you who do know who this is and what it's about, please do not comment on their name. I don't want, number one, I don't want to be petty like them. I'm not going to do that. I won't do something like that to somebody because I have more respect for them. And it's not just them that I have respect for. It's anybody because I think what happened was wrong, so I wouldn't do that personally. And two, I don't want to draw extra attention to them. They don't deserve it. I'm not going to post their releases. I'm not going to post their blogs. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to give any sort of, um, oh, I'm not going to reward them with attention for negative behavior. How's that? I won't do that. Like I said, I'm better than that. I am not going to become somebody like that. I can't. It's against my nature. Um, there's a difference between ranting and attempting to hurt somebody for sport. I can't do something like that. I would never do it. <clears throat> yes, there are people out there that I have spoken to about this, but only because they were part of the conversation. So, yes, I did talk to them. So they know exactly who it is. But... They were there. They saw it. It was a public freaking forum, <laughs> and that really hurt. Um, but I did not post private conversations with their name attached to it. I never called them names, except for hypocrite. I do say that, and that is the word of the day, not just to him, not just to him, but to other people as well. So remember that when you look at that. Um, just. I don't know. I wish that I could say that I'm a, big, a bigger person, that I could just walk away and say it didn't hurt me at all. It did. I'm a human being, and I have feelings, and yes, I do have mental capacity issues. You don't need to throw that in my face. The fact that, see, I covered this with Matt. His ex-girlfriend used to throw mental issues in his face as a weapon. And the fact that people get off doing things like that, um, I'm sorry, but... You're not proving that I have issues. You're proving that you have issues. And I feel sorry for you. And I feel sorry for anyone that you ever hurt. And that goes out to him and her. <laughs> we all have issues. And it's just wrong to throw them in people's faces as weapons. I just think bullies in the world are lonely and need attention. Because that's why they do it. They bully people on a public forum because they want attention. They want people to say, oh, you're so right. You know what, the, you know what that is? It's ass kissing. You're, you're asking for attention for that. I would rather have my naked ass flying through freaking Second Life for attention than have negative attention from going up to people and tearing them down for who they are. Anyway. I'm so exhausted. I have to get ready for laundry day. Yay! And then I'm going to curl up with a book. 
and lose myself in another world for a while. A world that's not Second Life and completely intellectual. Hmm. I hope you guys have a great week. And I hope your weekend is awesome. And I will talk to you guys later. Oh, happy Halloween. Because I know you guys are going to be busy that day. Please subscribe to my channel, to my blog, social media, etc., etc. And again, if you feel that I've only added you because I'm a quote-unquote fangirl, please remove me. Because I would rather get to know somebody for who they are, not what they do. Okay? Okay. Bye now.